calculus. The first thing we're going to talk about in calculus is a preview of calculus. Uh, we're going to basically understand what calculus is about and how it compares with pre-calculus. Then we're going to understand the tangent line problem, which is one of the basic problems of calculus, uh, and also the area problem, which is also basic to our knowledge of calculus. First thing we need to do is figure out what is calculus. Calculus is the math of change. For instance, calculus is the mathematics of velocities, acceleration, tangent lines, slopes, areas, volumes, arc lengths, so on and so forth. Uh, although pre-calculus mathematics deals with these same uh, concepts, there's a fundamental difference between pre-calculus and calculus. Pre-calculus is more static, which means we can uh, basically study things at rest where calculus is more dynamic. So we can study things that are moving or stuff that's a little bit more complicated. Here's some examples. Uh, an object traveling at a constant velocity can analyze with pre-calculus mathematics. So for instance, if you're leaving Bristol and you're traveling to Knoxville, you can figure out your average rate of change, your, your average speed by knowing when you left, when you got there, the distance between, it's very easy for us to calculate. However, uh, calculus allows us to analyze the velocity of an accelerating object. So you could actually figure out when your car is a certain speed, which obviously is a little bit different uh, than our pre-calculus methods. The slope of a line can be analyzed with pre-calculus. You guys have been doing that probably since you were in about seventh grade. So a uh, very common mathematical problem. But calculus allows us to find the slope of a curve. So obviously something completely different you would not think that a line, uh, that, it, that slope can be calculated with a curve, but it can. Uh, the curvature of a circle is constant and can be analyzed with pre-calculus methods. Uh, to analyze the variable curvature of a curve, you need calculus. Just a couple more examples. Uh, the area of a rectangle can be analyzed with pre-calculus. Uh, the area under a general curve, uh, you need calculus to do that. So uh, obviously you guys have found the area of a rectangle, but then the area under a curve is a little bit different because it's not one of those uh, formulas that you have memorized. Each of these situations involves some general strategy, uh, the reformulation of pre-calculus mathematics through the use of the limit process. So oh, one way to answer the question, what is calculus, uh, is to say that calculus is a limit machine that involves three different stages.